Facebook page that is gaining some rapid support. The Exotic Pet Center is located on Winfield Dunn Parkway, about five miles south of I-40. Ten News reporter Ashley and Vicki checked out the store, talked with both the owner and some concerned customers. What'd you find out, Ashley? Well, on Facebook, the complaints claim that the pet center smells like urine, is dirty, and uh, has dead animals in the cages. But from what I saw and smelled today, that was not the case. And now the owner is speaking out, calling those claims lies. She says pictures can be deceiving and is inviting anyone who has concerns to check it out themselves. Fresh and saltwater fish, hamsters, gerbils, sugar gliders. Exotic pet center has been open for over 10 years. Say hello. Say Winnie, Winnie, Winnie. Stocked with colorful birds of all ages. And the a store is now under fire. This is terrible. This has got to be very angry. This Facebook page, Stop the Hell at This Pet Store in Sevierville, Tennessee, now is claiming the animals are malnourished, neglected, and have dirty water and food. This picture shows two birds in the same cage, but the owner says that's because they've been together for 15 years. She specifically sought me out because she wanted those birds to stay together forever. Perez says another picture makes it look like Woody is in a tiny cage. They show him just on the right hand side of the cage and they, and they have it like this. And they say the cage is not big enough for him and look he has no toys. No, the cage is much larger than the photo shows and he does have a toy. But some customers think otherwise. My parents had a pet store in Ohio. Um, and I grew up in that. The pages are filthy. They're always full of feces and food pieces. You can tell they've been there a long time. I noticed that there are a lot of dead animals when you go in there. Absolutely not. You're welcome to look around. With Facebook concerns growing, I checked in with local officials. The Sevierville Police Department says it's received about eight complaints in the past few days. Its animal control officer has checked in on the store three times this week alone. 12 times total in the past two years. SPD says in order to take action, it must see abuse or neglect. In all 12 inspections, the animal control officer did not see any violations. They are inspected regularly, and that is without any warning. The situation is getting so out of hand, and it's becoming very scary. Chris says now she's worried because one user posted a picture of her five kids on the group's private page. Saying, be, be aware of us. It's also, in one of their comments, they were saying they were going to try to find our house. The whole idea of the Facebook group is not to attack the family at all. It's just a shop. We want better for the pets. We hope that people are wise enough to know that there are two sides to every story and often when one side is so very very angry you might want to take that with a grain of salt press says some customers have tried to post positive feedback to that facebook page but it has been deleted and i do want to mention that within the last three hours or so the facebook site administrator wrote in a post that threats to the family or store will not be tolerated and we heard from police in your piece there ashley what about other agencies is anybody else involved in investigating this yeah the usda did get involved and has inspected the store several times within the last year and did not find any violations i've also checked in with the tennessee department of agriculture which says it has not found any disease related issues as well ashley is vicky on the story Thanks very much. We're going to be back with the forecast.